Well, howdy. Welcome here to the Double M Farm once again. I've uh, had some people ask me just what kind of things, other than digging a ditch, do you do with the Harbor Freight Trencher? And really, for any towable trencher for that matter. So I thought we'd do a quick video on just some of the projects you can do uh, using a the Harbor Freight Trencher or any other towable trencher. The um, I'm trying to think, there's the Jensen, uh, Besco. There's a whole bunch of these things all over the world. Sometimes I forget here in the United States that we do have viewers from other countries. So there are a lot of these things all over the world. So just what kind of jobs can you do with uh, with a towable trencher? So let's take a look at some of the things that, that I've done here on the farm and some things I've got scheduled to do and uh, see just what kind of jobs can you do with the uh, towable trencher. Well, we're up here at the top of the hill in the corral area. And uh, this is a little pool that I dug for the ducks to enjoy when they're closed up in this corral area. And uh, I did it with the Harbor Freight Trencher. It's about four foot deep in the middle. Slopes up to about a foot and a half, two foot deep on the sides. And the ducks really enjoy it. There's no liner, which is why I have the pump running down at the spring, which leads me to the second project I did with the Harbor Freight Trencher. And that's very, I don't need your help. Now you're gonna pee on camera. But the next project we want to talk about that we did with the Harbor Freight Towable Trencher, bearing water lines and electric lines. You see the water pumping that's coming from way down the bottom of the hill. That pipe is buried over to that stand. And then from there, there's a T. I got it standing up with a spigot that I can turn on there. And then the main line is buried along with an electric line that goes inside the barn and it comes under the fence right there and runs right along here and goes under the fence there. And this is one of the reasons I bought the Harbor Freight Trencher in the first place is to get this line put in. And it goes under the fence right here where that little T-post is driven in there and goes down that hill and if you can look there's a blue tarp that's where the water pump is in the spring we'll go down there and take a look at it but that's just another example and this is probably the the number one thing that these towable trenchers are made for is trenching in water lines and electric lines which we did both there didn't we jet yes we did uh, she's going to be camera shy but we'll go down there and take a look at the bottom of the hill. Down here at the bottom of the hill now, that water line runs up that hill. That's level camera right there. You can see how steep that is. I had two or three people look at this thing and none of them wanted to do this trenching job because it was so steep they were worried about their equipment tipping over. So I uh, bought the Harbor Freight Trencher, and one good thing about these towable trenchers, I did try doing it with a Teramite, and it was like this. Front end coming up, if I tried going uphill. If I tried coming downhill, it just had a very serious pucker factor to it. So, but the towable trenchers, you can climb those things, crawl them anywhere without fear. And it comes down, electric line and the water line. I have actually an old irrigation pump I know it's loud but I dug the hole out with the trencher the springs coming out right there where that frog just jumped and I pump water out of that and up the hill to water the animals and I'm thinking one day I may dig this out and bury some 55 gallon plastic drums down in there and then cover it up where it'll stay clean then I could use it for drinking water another project while we're right here that if you've watched my channel I've got a whole series of uh, videos on this I dug this pond with the 
Harbor Freight Towable Trencher. So that's another project you can do. It's a massive project. It's a big undertaking, and I'm not going to go into a lot of detail because I'm going to do a separate video, and I do have a series of videos on building in the pond, the construction of the pond. Got to do a little grass cutting. But I'm going to do a video on the pros and cons of building a pond with a towable trencher. So I'll get into a little more detail in that video. Another thing that you can do with a towable trencher, as I stumble my way across, is you can build a road. Uh, you can see right there, I've got a road that goes all winds around. I went in with a chainsaw and cut the big stuff, and then I took the Harbor Freight trencher and crawled through there and dug and leveled and cleaned out stuff and built a road. So that's another project you can do with the Harbor Freight or any other towable trencher. Now let's go up back up to the top of the hill and take a look at a couple other projects. Okay, through the magic of video, we're back up at the top of the hill. And forgive me, I'm out of breath from walking up the hill. Some other things, <laughs> other projects that you can do with the Harbor Freight or any other towable trencher is uh, buried power lines. Power line comes out under the barn there, comes over to about where I'm standing, goes down the hill, over to the workshop, and all the way down to the cabin uh, to where the power meter is. So I've got uh, an electrical line and a water line buried down there. Right here, I dug out this little catch basin. This is pretty steep. Big rain comes from down the hill and kept this washed. Couldn't get grass to stay here long enough to grow. Now you can see I've got centipede grass growing real well. And what I did is I dug out a little small catch basin area here for the water to collect in. Got the pipe here. It's a six inch pipe under this. And I buried it right through there. And it opens up into the ditch that runs along beside the road going down to the cabin. Which leads us to ditching roads. You can see right there. Got a ditch dug around the road all the way to the bottom. There's another catch basin down there with a pipe going under the road. This hill looks pretty and green and clean. Got some poplar, maple, and dogwood trees. Well, before I bought this property, about 20, 25 years ago, it was logged. It was all woods here. None of that was open. And uh, so when I bought it, this area was nothing but stumps everywhere. So I could either pay a guy with a stump grinder or I could just take the Harbor Freight Trencher and start digging. And that's what I did. Didn't get many videos of that. I do have a video of it sitting right there digging one stump. Quite a few of them were pine lighted stumps. I got a whole stack of lighted stumps for fire starting out of the project. But you can see it's now a pretty clean hill with no stumps thanks to the Harbor Freight Trencher. So uh, just another job you can do with a towable trencher or any kind of excavator. But since the equipment in question is a towable trencher, that's what we're dwelling on give my shaking hand right here you can see there are terraces on the property I wanted to be able to drive up here without having to drive all the way around so took the trencher and just sloped it took the terrace out right there and made a gentle slope that I can now drive the equipment tractors trucks anything up and down from that level up to this level and then there's no terrace there it's just a good gentle slope so that's another project that we did with the trencher. Catch basin right there beside that pompous grass. Dug that out and I've got to finish it. What's happening is the water comes down into this catch basin. It fills up and in a big rain it's running across and washing out my road. So I've got some pipe right there that I've had for two years and haven't yet had time to put it in but I'm going to take that pipe 
dig up this pompous grass and bury that pipe across here and let it come out there so as this catch basin fills up it will uh, drain out instead of washing out my road and if you've never done this before whatever direction your water is coming in don't put your drain pipe at the end because it will come and wash debris and stop up your pipe if at all possible put your pipe on the side so that the water comes in the debris goes that way the water builds up and then drains out you'll get a lot better results that way another project for a towable trencher all of this dirt has come from cleaning out the ditches on the main road coming into the farm and I haven't finished but did all of that with the Harbor Freight Trencher and the little Suzuki Carry Japanese mini truck with the dump body cleaned out ditches loaded it in that brought it down here and dumped it and now I'm using that to fill in various places on the farm that I need dirt project that I've really gotten a lot of use out of is the grease pit as as you can see from the workshop there's a real nice slope here workshops level there and you can see the drop off so I came right here on this part of the slope and took the Harbor Freight trencher and dug it out and then lined it with some cheap dog-eared fence boards I have uh, roofing felt stapled around the outside of it to help hold out moisture and make the boards last longer. They obviously they're treated, they're fence boards, but still. Did have to put a brace in the middle because the weight of the soil would collapse it in. But now I can drive my vehicle, like my wife's little car is so low to the ground I could never change the oil. Now I can drive it, straddle this, take my creeper go underneath and work on any vehicle I've got our tractor or dumpy or anything build a little workstation there have a Harbor Freight tire changer that's the small one thinking about getting a bigger one just haven't decided yet where I would mount it but uh, this project here I have probably gotten as much use out of as anything on the farm so we're up to 12 and a half minutes and I didn't want to be too long-winded I know people don't like long videos those are some of the projects that uh, I have done with my Harbor Freight Trencher. So if I haven't touched on something that you've done, maybe I leave it in the comments below, a project you've done with your towable trencher, regardless of brand. And uh, let's give other people ideas of some things you can do with the uh, towable trenchers and how, how nice they are to have on the homestead. Uh, instead of paying somebody by the hour to bring their excavator in and do a job, spend $2,500 to $3,500 on a towable excavator, do it yourself, and you've got the excavator. It's yours to keep, and you can continue working on projects. So, those are my ideas. Uh, add your ideas to the comments below. And I appreciate you joining us here, and we'll see you again real soon.